bakayım. Merhaba arkadaşlar, hepiniz IFT Talks webinarlarına hoş geldiniz. Bugün Kanada'nın en güzel lokasyonunda yer alan Northern Lights College'da eğitim ve Kanada'da kariyer fırsatlarını Tony'den dinliyor olacağız. Lütfen sorularınızı questions kısmından sormayı unutmayın. Yes Tony, the stage is yours now. Thank you very much. Good morning uh, or good evening everyone. And my name is Tony May, and I'm the in international recruitment and the business development manager for Northern Lights College in Canada. Um, I'd like to share some of uh, information about our college with you guys. And uh, before that, uh, I'd like to share a video and uh, just give you a brief overview of how our student, in, you know, student life in our college. Then I will start my presentation after. Taking the risk to come to Canada is something that is totally worth it. It's worth it because it's a country that is opening the doors for international persons. It's giving opportunities and it's a country that is always going to recognize the respect for the other. My name is Carolina Arango and I am from Colombia. I came to Dawson Creek in 2018. I'm Irene de la Peña Tessico. I came from the Philippines. I arrived here last September 2019. So I've been here for six months and as for my experience, I'm really happy, very gratefully happy. And I still can't believe that I'm here in Canada. I love this college. I love my instructors. They are always willing to listen, to respond to your doubts, and to help you, to provide you all the information that, that can help you make the learning process easier. So since I came here, I think the best part is the people. The people in here were so friendly, they're so accommodating, and they helped me to become a better person. It's something different. It's, it's a city that offers you a connection with with the nature and, it, and it's beautiful. There's lakes, there's these um, sunsets and sunrises that are magical. I think they better choose Northern Lights College. Not only because it's affordable, but also the people in here, the instructor, the staff, they're willing to help you with all your needs. Not only specifically in your studies, but also in your personal lives. I think if I'm not here in Northern Lights College, I will not be who I am today. It, it's amazing and it, it, we never imagined it was going to be like that. So it surprised us, but in a, in a good way. Great, so I hope everyone enjoys the video and uh, I will go into my presentation, give you more detail about our college. Oh, it's not our first page, oops. <laughs> so I hope everyone can see my um, presentation. Uh, so again, um, my name is Tony, nice to meet you all. And uh, I'm here to inform you about Northern Lights College. So at the start, um, Northern Light College, we are located in British Columbia, which is west side of, of Canada, is in uh, uh, near the west coast. And Northern Lights College, we have about five campuses, but we mainly host our international students on Fort St. John and Dawson Creek campuses. Um, Fort St. John and Dawson Creek, it's a northeast side in British Columbia, is near the border with Alberta, 
and which is other province, not border, you know, uh, province border. And it's about a one and a half hours fly away from Vancouver. So which by this geographic location, we are not in a metropolis like big cities. We are in, a, you know, industrial community-based towns. So with Dawson Creek and Fort St. John, let me give you a little bit of background information about those two towns. We are industrial-based communities, which means we have a lot of big corporations around this area. We have uh, oil, natural gas, lumber, and, and the mining corporations. A lot of our residents is actually working in those big corporations. So which means our per capita GDP is much higher than any other comparable size towns, which create a lot of entrance level job opportunities for international students. Majority of our international students able to find their first part-time job within the first couple of weeks they arrive here, which is great. Unlike a lot of other big cities, international students have a very hard time to find a job. But here it's opposite because the entrance level job, labor market, the labor force is needed, and uh, which is perfect fit for international students. So to be said, you know, first thing, good thing for international students, they can find an important job. And the community likes it because we fulfill the entrance level job and labor forces. So it's a win-win situation for the town and the college and the international students. Then Northern Lights College, we are public college established in 1975. We've been known as BC's Energy College. Now bring the question, why Northern Lights College? So first of all, Northern Lights College, we have the most affordable tuition in British Columbia. And we are one of the most affordable colleges in Canada. So let me give you an example. For a two-year diploma, uh, let's say business management, our tuition is uh, around $21,000 for the entire two year, which means each year you're looking about $10,700 for the tuition. So for you to finish your two year diploma, you only need $21,000, which is great compared to a lot of other colleges and universities. And also we have a very small class size, I don't mean, you know, the small class size as in classroom area, but it's in um, student per class. So we maximum out 16 students per classroom, which means students have a very good study environment and have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with their instructors or professors, and which is great. And because we are public colleges, all credentials are the same as any other public colleges in Canada, doesn't matter their size or location. For the student who comes here, they will have a very unique life experiences. As you can see on the video, we have a lot of, out, a lot of outdoor activities. But if you're still looking for, you know, nightclub or big casino, I'm sorry, we don't have that. What do we have? is the natural beauty of Canada and the acquired study environment. Um, we have activity for international students, um, you know, throughout the season. Where we have like horseback riding, ski, snowboarding, fishing, and camping, all that. And just last year before the COVID-19 started, we actually took a group of students out for a winter camping. What winter camping is, is in minus 20, then on the two feet, in the two feet of snow, we go out for camping. When students come back, they were like, oh my God, that was amazing experience. I never thought, you know, you can experience something like that. And it wasn't even that cold. So that's kind of experience you're not gonna get anywhere else. And as I mentioned before, we have amazing job opportunities for our current students and our alumni students. This graph, it just shows the labor demand in our area, in our region. 
um, is still going strong, which is very good. Then I want to talk about cost of living. In Canada, if you, you are in big cities, like you know, in Vancouver, Toronto, or Montreal, if you want to rent a decent two-bedroom apartment, you're looking about $3,000. But here, in Fort St. John and Dawson Creek, you're looking about one bedroom, about $700 a month. Two bedroom is uh, $900 a month. Then, for if you want to rent a house, it's about one thousand dollars. So, you know, to share your family with your family or friends, which is very affordable. And of course, we have our <clears throat> school residents. Our student housing, it's a four bedroom suite. So each student will have uh, their own individual bedroom. Then. Each they share the kitchen, living area, and washroom with the other three roommates. It includes water, electricity, heat, and Wi-Fi. The only thing that is not included is their groceries. So you know you still have to go shop for your grocery to feed yourself, but everything else is included. And that's only five hundred twenty dollars a month, which is very very affordable. And on the, another thing, all school residents in Dawson Creek is actually literally 86 meters away from their classroom. So students can literally actually get up five minutes before class and still won't be late. Of course, that is not that is not recommended, but that shows you how close it is. Then, as any public college, we have the university transfer system. And our university transfer system is uh, for the student who actually want to finish a degree. And so you can start their degree year one and year two with Northern Lights College, then transfer to any university that they desire. And provides they need to meet a certain G GPA requirement, depends on the program they choose. And of course, once they finish um, their degree, they can apply for the post grad work permit. That is for the student who actually wish to finish a degree. Then, within Northern Lights College, we have a diploma, associate degree, and a post-degree diploma. When students finish any of those two-year programs, they are eligible for three-year post-grad work permit. And uh, of course, join the three-year post-grad work permit if they find a full-time job and they wish to apply for permanent residence, they are welcome to do so. And as for the program in detail, um, I'm gonna share another screen, just bear with me. So you probably cannot read all of this, but uh, if you need a detail in, you know, uh, program starting day, you can always email me, and I will leave my email in the chat boxes. So if. Uh, if you have a question, please don't hesitate to ask in the question area right now. Or if you have more questions after, please email me at tmei at nlc.bc.ca. So the program list I'm showing you here is uh, mostly all popular programs for international students. So let me just go over very briefly. And um, as uh, for example, we have been. Oh, to be said, 99% of our program is the price I talked about before. It's each year is about 10,700, and two year is usually 21,000, except for one program. One of those program is nursing. For a practical nursing pro diploma, it is actually much more, and the entrance requirement is a little bit higher too. Um, you're welcome to email me to find out what more details detail about the nursing program, but nursing program is one of the programs that is not 
$20,000. But for all other programs, it is around $20,000. There's a couple of programs, maybe uh, you know, a few dollars short or a few dollars more, but that's it. So I think this is not all the program we have, but it is more, more of a popular program for international students. So for example, in business, we have a business business management certificate diploma, and then we have a business management uh, diploma, but specializing in accounting. Or we have executive assistant diploma or post-degree diploma in business management. And in you know other area we have archaeology diploma, land and water resource diploma. For those two diploma, it's uh... oh, excuse me. sorry about that. Um, because we have, uh, like I mentioned before, we have uh, quite a few cooperations in this area. And our, actually our land and water resource diploma is very popular with our international students. Because once they graduate, there are a lot of job opportunities around this area. Uh, because in each cooperation, they have a team of environmental scientists that uh, do land survey, water preservation, and um, all the things relate to land and water and so it's much it's very easy and convenient for alumni from this program to find a job in those corporations so it's a very good career opportunity then we have a criminology diploma and in health and human services we have a early childhood education care diploma and then we have a post diploma in business management but in specialized in health administration then we have the nursing program. Uh, as I said, nursing is one of the programs that is outside the norm bracket. And we have social service worker. Then we have, uh, you know, in science and technology, we have certificate uh, in engineering and interactive technology and gaming design diploma and post diploma in business management, also specializing in information technology. Then we, in skill and trade, we have a diploma in aircraft maintenance. Um, I will go into detail with this program later on because it's one of the unique programs to Northern Lights College. Then we have a diploma in cosmetology and we have advanced certificate in culinary arts. And then, as, a, as I said before, for university transfer, people can pay university associate degree of arts or associate degree of science or specializing in health uh, studies in associate degree of arts. Then of course, for those who, want to, who do not have uh, the language proficiency um, requirement meet, they can always, always join our ESL program. Our ESL program, it provides pathway to any of our, our programs that, uh, you know, in the IELTS, but if you don't have, you can study on ESL first. So that's the program brief overview, but let me go back to my presentation. Oh, going back, okay, sorry. Uh, so that's a brief overview of for like a, a definition for diploma. Arkadaşlar Tony internet bağlantısını e, kaybetti. Biraz beklemenizi rica edeceğiz. Oh, can you hear me now? I think I just lost connection. Yes, we can hear you, Tony. Oh, can you see the screen also? Yes. Great. Um, okay. Can you hold on one second because my my Wi-Fi is showing very brief single. Can you give me one second, please? Sure.
Evet arkadaşlar Tony'nin yeniden bağlanmasını beklerken bu sırada siz de sorularınızı questions bölümünden sorabilirsiniz. Sorularınızı Türkçe sormanız halinde biz çeviriyor olacağız alt tarafta. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, we can see and hear you. Oh, great. I think I fixed it. <laughs> so, oh yeah. Um, so the difference between diploma, associate degree, and post degree diploma. Diploma is a two-year program that student can finish it, then go apply for three-year postgrad work. Or they can go to university to get a degree. But that seems very similar with associate degree. But the difference is diploma, not all diploma courses that is transferable to a degree. But if you take associate degree, all the courses in associate degree is transferable to the university. So you do have to decide if you want to finish a diploma or you want to finish a degree uh, before you make your decision. And for post-degree diploma is for the student who already finished university or college that like to do a further studies. And uh, with uh, its post-degree diploma, I'm not sure if you're familiar with that term. It is not a master degree. It's not graduate study. It is between degree and the master. So it's a, another credential, which, you know, if you're not familiar with, is between degree and the ma uh, master program. So, but it's being well used in North America. Then, I like to introduce one of the program that is very unique to North America. Aircraft maintenance engineering diploma. It's a two-year diploma, and there is also it's around twenty-one thousand dollars for the entire two year. And as you can see, the photo on the right hand side, I used myself and took that picture. This is our classroom. And as again, we as you can see, we have jet, helicopter, rescue plane, farmer's plane, and all that. And as I mentioned before, we maximum out of 16 students per class. So which means each student will have their own engine to work on, which is great. And all the instructors and professors in this program, they are the engineers in the field. So if a student shows their dedication and uh, perform good in their classes, most likely they will have, uh, you know, they can ask for a recommendation or reference letter from their instructors. A lot of alumni actually have a full-time job offer before they even graduate, which is amazing. Uh, that leads to, that's a very good career path. But to be said though, for this type of program, the students have to be willing to get their hand dirty because this is not a sit in the office, you know, um, answer email, stuff like that. It is more for students who actually like hands-on uh, jobs and hands-on classes. Uh, it will be a great career path for them. Then, of course, we have our student services, I know, for orientation, advising, international student leadership, ambassadorship program. Uh, to be said, though, uh, will be all those serv student services right now, it is online uh, due to the COVID-19. And uh, hopefully, we will go back to normal soon. But from now, it looks as so soon is coming soon. <laughs> the norm is coming soon in Canada, and uh, we have a very we are finally seeing the light. And um, 
hopefully we will hear some good news like you know very shortly now, this is a very brief overview of uh, northern lights college and uh, i would love to answer all the questions if you can have any and uh, i will answer one by one and uh, if you have more questions if you didn't answer in the question area i will answer in my email if you email me thank you so let's uh go to the questions yeah like i said about the first question is uh, career opportunities it's amazing for international students um unlike a lot of big cities um because they are over populated and it's actually very hard for international students to um, find a part-time job or full-time job after it just because too many competitions here however is a different story because we lack the workforces and international student it's perfect to fill in the gap so they have no problem finding uh, part-time jobs or even uh, full-time jobs after they finish their study uh, average tuition uh, like i said about uh, and uh, accommodation i think i talked about it in my presentation tuition average for a year is ten thousand seven hundred and accommodation uh, if it's living school residence is a five hundred twenty dollars a month and it's a four bedroom suite you have your own individual bedroom you share the kitchen living area and uh, washrooms with other three roommates um which programs are popular like yeah all the program i mentioned before a lot of them are very popular with our international students and uh, if you're interested in particular program please email me i'll be happy to answer your questions um, so one year <coughs> oh, excuse me uh, so the one year diploma program um so Okay, to answer this question, if international student only finish a one year certificate program, which what they call it for one year program, and yes, you will get a, about eight months to one year postgraduate work permit. But just a reminder, if the student's goal is to stay in Canada after their study, one year certificate program usually is not enough for them to apply for PR. Just you know, uh, because we are a public institution, we cannot go into immigration details, but that's just a friendly reminder. If you only finish one year certificate program, most likely you're not gonna able to apply for post uh sorry, uh, for permanent re residency with your score and points. It's just not enough time, unfortunately. So best if you wanna think, your goal is to stay in Canada after you study, it's best to take at least two-year diploma uh, yeah language uh, requirement yes of course uh, for IELTS for most of the program is 6.0 and nothing less than 6.0 and TOEFL is um, 78 and um, for Duolingo we do accept them in about 110 and there's a couple of the program language requirements a little bit higher. Uh, of course, nursing is one of them. It's uh, actually require IELTS of 7.0 and only IELTS, but that's only for nursing. Then we do have uh, one of other program require 6.5, and you can inquire about the individual language requirement. You can email me uh, if you're interested in any of the program. I will let you know. And but. Uh, for majority of the program is 6.0 and during go 110 and TOEFL 78. Uh, no, so how the bachelor degree application works is in Canada as a public college, once you finish year one, year two, for example, associate degree of science with us, you will have uh, associate degree uh, diploma uh, associate degree um, the credential already then you use your average GPA your you know your score your average mark to go apply for 
a degree in one of the university that you want to go. And each year, uh, each university have uh, uh, admission requirement for the GPA, which is the average. If you meet the requirement, then you will get in. That's it. And there's no it's not essay. It's a there is application form you need to fill and put in average, then write depends on the program you're applying. Some program will ask you to write about uh, you know why you want to apply the program, and some program will ask you to write a, a reference letter for yourself. So it really depends on the program itself. Um so I see a question. What about the postgraduate? I'm sorry, what do you mean? Is that are you talking about like a master program or you mean cross the all the program we have? The program we have is a uh, you know it's a po post degree diploma. So like I said before, it is uh, between master and a degree. I hope that answers your question. Uh Long term, no, all the diploma we have is a two year. So, and then do they include co op? Unfortunately, no. So, let me tell you the reason why. A uh, few years ago, IRCC, which is a Canada immigration, changed the rule about co op programs. If the co op time is long, is 50% or longer than the clean classroom time, then the student is not eligible for postgraduate. So, the, for the student who actually want to actually stay in Canada, um, you know, get a job after, then the co op program will not work. And but for if you want just want to take the program and get a co-op, then go back to home country. Yes, of course you can. And uh, but uh, we don't have a longer turnover diploma. We all we have is two year. A majority of uh, college in Canada is a two year diploma at this moment. I believe the only couple handful, not even handful of uh, the colleges still offer co-op program with attached with a post grad work permit eligibility like link together because the rule change. Um, so of course you can take it, but we will not recommend it if you try to stay in Canada afterwards. Um, do you have uh, any previous taking as a school under three days? Um, okay, for as far as the three day quarantine rule, it is issued by the government. We have to follow it. So right now, but like I said, it seems to change so fast. I mean, it could be gone in next month and it could stay for another six months. We, nobody knows. But as for now, yes, when you arrive, you do have to stay in the quarantine hotel for three days. Then you also have to do a quarantine self, self quarantine at your destination for two weeks. So that's a rule for now. And that could change anytime. We don't know. Um, but it's getting better. Because uh, you know, with uh, vaccination is uh, on the way, and uh, a lot of uh, our first line work already have the vaccination down. I believe we can see the light very, very soon. Um, now do you also offer uh, pathology? No, we don't. Um, the, unfortunately, we do not have. Uh, that program, but we have, uh, you know, uh, archaeology and land and water resource. It's kind of related. So I think that that's all the question uh, we have. And does anybody else have a uh, question at all? Uh, yes, I think you covered all of the questions, Tony. Okay, great. Thank you for your answers. And like I said, if you have any question, please don't hesitate to email me and I'm happy to answer all your questions. Yeah, so I think that covers all for today's webinar. And um, it's um, my pleasure to be here.
and uh, thank you for inviting me. And uh, please, if you have any question, please email me and we'll keep in contact. Yes, thank you very much, Tony, for your presentation. Uh, we believe it was a really informative webinar for the attendees and you answered all of the questions. Great, thank you. Also, I would like to thank the participants in Turkish as well. Katıldığınız için teşekkür ederiz arkadaşlar. Northern Lights College ile ilgili diğer sorularınız için Tony'nin paylaşmış olduğu mail adresinden iletişime geçebilirsiniz. E, yarınki webinarlarımızda görüşmek üzere. Thank you again, Tony. Uh, it was a pleasure to have you in IFT Talks. Is there anything you would like to add before we wrap up? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Have a great evening or afternoon, I believe, or good morning. Thank you. Yes, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.